All right, let's get started with the obligatory streetwear intro. What is up, you guys? I'm back with another video. I'm not actually back because I don't make videos, but if I did make videos, this is what a video would look like. So without further ado, I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite skate shoe ever is the Vans Varix. Now, let's open it up. I'll walk you guys through some stylistic things that I like about it, give you a review of how I enjoy skating it, what you can expect from it. We'll talk about sizing and all that. So let's talk about the layers. This shoe is like a cross between a DC Legacy and a Balenciaga Triple S. It's craziness. It's chunky. It's got layers on layers on layers. Check it out. We've got so many different materials here. We got suede, you got leather, you've got mesh, you've got canvas here in this blue part. Um, you've got embroidery running through the mesh. A question that I had was, does the embroidery help the stability of a flexible material like mesh? Is that why that's there? Or is it just for style? I don't know, but a question I had when I was looking at this shoe. Now, really well built. I've skated a pair of these before and they wore out uh, probably in, it took a year. It took a year before they were really destroyed. And I got every last drop out of that shoe. I wore it at work afterwards. And uh, you know, the Ultra Kush um, insole does help out because long 12 hour days in the restaurant on cement floors, you, you're gonna want something comfortable. And these held up really great. Um, interesting, other, other interesting points are the lack of an eyelet here in the middle of the lacing system. I like that they had this strap. I was concerned that it was gonna break when I first wore the shoe, but uh, these actually didn't have any problems. Um, depending on your skating, your aggression, whatever, you may have a problem with that, depending on what part of the foot you're using. But um, I was surprised and ple pleasantly, I might add, to know that you know there's no real functionality issues with this, this um, lacing system. Um, other things to note are the fact that it's awesome, I guess, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on foot. So bear with me if my camera doesn't focus right away. I have had some difficulty shooting this video in the past. This is not my first take. Um, actually, it's my several thousandth take because um, I'm not really good at shooting videos that well. I actually had a good version before but the camera didn't focus and you couldn't really see the shoes. So we're gonna try again. Please bear with me. I don't edit video like that. I don't really have anything to edit video like that. And quite honestly, I don't wanna edit videos like that. I'm going off the cuff. This is all real. This is all live and direct. So check it out. Bear with me as I focus up here. Oh my God. Okay, all right. All right, come on, work with me. You see it. I'm wearing a pair of old wrestler jeans right now, kind of baggy. These go good with anything though, to be honest. You really don't need to do too much. You can just throw them on. They look good with maybe some joggers if you're still on that. Please, please graduate from the joggers if you're still on that in 2021. But you can throw them with anything really, for real. So I think that they're a great looking shoe. They're a great feeling shoe. They skate great. And before I forget, let's talk about sizing. So I have an 11 in these. I wear an 11 in most vans. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling a little loose, I'll go up a half size. I had the North Face vans in a 12, but I did put uh, warming insoles in them. So that was the only reason I went up. An 11 is really great. Um, and I wear uh, an 11 and a half and an Air Jordan 1. So if you have an Air Jordan 1 and you wanna compare your size to my size, just when you're uh, picking out a pair of these, that's a good way to do it. Um, they fit snug, but not too tight. I honestly, I have no problems with these. I generally wear an 11 and a half in most shoes and uh, going down just helped made them a little bit more comfy when I'm skating. Um, they're a little bit bulkier than your average Vans. That's pretty, apparent but i like that a lot i think that it um is like skating in a marshmallow to be honest with you it's it's a dope shoe so that 
is what I want to talk to you about today. Also, if you're trying to find a pair of these, they're really hard to find because Vance doesn't make them anymore. This was a little bit more of an expensive sneaker when it came out, so I think that that's probably why it didn't do well as a pro model uh, skate shoe because nobody wants to spend $140 Canadian on a shoe that they're going to break down, which is understandable, but it's a little bit unfortunate because, I mean, they're just such a great shoe. I would love to see more done with them. More experimentation, more problems with my focusing. I, I apologize, guys. I'm really doing my best here. I'm just one man. I'm just one man trying to learn about the industry. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, that's the Vans Varix for you. It's a great shoe. If you want to buy them, do it quickly because you're not going to see them online for much longer. Um... But yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say, guys. The video is over. Sneaker school is done. I hope everybody had a great year. I hope everybody has a great year. And I hope that everybody is uh, sticking to it, you know? Living through it. Um, keep it moving. I, I've, I've tried to get that right so many times. <laughs> Peace!